welcome. Today, Jesus' message is challenging and calls us to answer the question, do we live our lives the way Jesus calls us to be? But it's also one of hope that in Jesus' eternal love, we will always be shown mercy. And let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the opening prayer. Dear Jesus, in your life, death, and resurrection, you allowed us to be part of your eternal love. May we always, in gratefulness and trust, understand that this is the greatest gift we can ever receive. Amen. And before we hear the gospel, make a little sign of the cross on our forehead. God be in my thoughts, on our mouth. God be in my words. And here, God be in my heart. And the reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 to 43. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this. A man sowed good seed in his field. One night when everyone was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the plants grew and the ears of corn began to form, then the weeds showed up. The man's servants came to him and said, Sir, it was good seed you sowed in your field. Where did the weeds come from? It was some enemy who did this, he answered. Do you want us to go and pull up the weeds, they asked. No, he answered, because as you gather the weeds, you might pull up some of the wheat along with them. Let the wheat and the weeds both grow together until harvest. Then I will tell the harvest workers to pull up the weeds first, tie them in bundles and burn them, and then gather in the wheat and put it in my barn. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this. A man takes a mustard seed and sows it in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it grows up, it is the biggest of all plants. It becomes a tree so that birds come and make their nests in its branches. Jesus told them still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this. A woman takes some yeast and mixes it with 40 liters of flour until the whole batch of dough rises. Jesus used parables to tell all these things to the crowds. He would not say a thing to them without using a parable. He did this to make what the prophet had said come true. I will use parables when I speak to them. I will tell them things unknown since the creation of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gospel today is really challenging, but whilst it challenges us, it is also full of hope. And Jesus' words uses the prophetic language of Daniel, common to Jewish writers. Daniel, who was faithful to God and never compromised his standards. And when hardship came, he persevered. The wheat and the darnel, the weeds, are almost identical. And Jesus is explaining we cannot evaluate other people's lives because we do not know, not have all the information and never will have access to what is truly in someone's heart. When we do believe we can judge others, it destroys all of Jesus' teachings. Jesus came to teach us to face our own wrongdoings, not those of others, and to become who we are truly meant to be as a child of God. 
And we have to acknowledge that we do not lead perfect lives. And there are always areas we could improve. But we are on a journey to holiness. And with Jesus' teaching and his mercy, we can clear those weeds. God has given us the gift of being able to make a choice. And that choice can lead us to Jesus or not. And in making a choice gives us a clear path to what is right and an awareness of the closeness of God. We are all equal in the eyes of God and in humility and gratitude we can be part of Jesus' mercy, part of his love. And with patience and mercy God watches over the field of each person's life and encourages us and strengthens us in the right path. God is patient with us and always ready to forgive us if we go to him. And he is always willing and ready to show us mercy. And at the core of everyone's heart is goodness. And whilst we can't change others, we can change ourselves. And in changing ourselves, we bring a small seed of God's kingdom to our lives and to the lives of others. And all our good thoughts, our good actions and deeds can create a world of peace. A world where Jesus is present in our midst. And let's say the closing prayer. Lord, our hearts with your Holy Spirit transform us to be more christ-like and ready to come to you for mercy amen In the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen the gospel offers a reminder about the kingdom of god and words of encouragement and we act in prayer that our actions will be consistent with jesus's plan and we are confident that God can bring the kingdom of heaven from even the smallest of beginnings. And we ask God to work through us for the sake of his kingdom of heaven. But consider setting aside some time this week to make some bread with your family and show the amount of yeast that is required to raise an entire batch of bread. And observe, too, that little things can go a long way. And after the bread has been baked, gather together as a family and read um, together the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 to 43. And reflect on what um, Jesus means when he teaches that the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed and like yeast. And in these parables, Jesus is teaching us that God can work wonders even from the smallest beginnings of the kingdom of God. And this means, too, that even the little things that we do can make a big difference in the lives of others. And perhaps consider what are some of the little things that you could do and we can do in our in your families that help to make things better for others and perhaps decide on one action to take together and pray that God will use your action to make a difference in the world and perhaps conclude with the Lord's Prayer. Thank you um, for being here this week and it's a great joy to share the gospel with you and may it ever bring you closer to Jesus. Thank you. Bye-bye.